Hi, good afternoon. This is your host, this is your guy, DLG Repping, on my football channel. To the ladies, to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls. How are you your day? How you been all day, should I say? And how's um, life treating you? I know life is treating me fine. And um, I know it could be a lot better. Especially you viewers who have not... Yet to subscribe, uh, who have not yet to subscribe to my channel, please do so. Just press the red button. That's all I need you to do is press the red button. I'm talking to those in the world of United States, Germany, and um, United Kingdom. I know you guys have been watching me. I've been checking my YouTube studio page, or should I say app? But anyway, thank you for tuning in. Right, I'm going to get on to. Um, the first part of my um, football um, context here, the first bit of news. Now, Chelsea, <coughs> they've already, as you already know, and as you have heard me say before, how well they've done to sign um, Hakim Zayek um, for £37 million. Well, they're looking at um, Timo Werner, which is a deal all but done. I think they'll get it over the line eventually. Ben Chilwell, they really do want him. Whether they'll pay the 80 million remains to be seen because that is what Leicester are holding out for. But then then again, Leicester are not looking to let him go soon. And the other target is um, Kai Havertz. Now this is one of the This is one of the biggest um Yeah, it's one of the biggest um transfer target of the summer, this guy is. He's highly rated number ten. And um, for me, if he was linked with Arsenal and he could play for us, he'd be the long-term replacement for Mazza Ozil. Definitely, I'll be up for Kai Havertz. However, um, Chelsea got their eyes on him and um, he's a guy who plays in the number 10 role or he can play in the attacking midfield role. So they're looking for someone who will get them 15 to 20 goals a season and this Havertz guy, from what I've seen, he is a promising prospect, as well as a talent. Only 2021, 20, I mean, he'll go for quite a lot of money. And that's um, what Leverkusen going to hold out for. So Chelsea fans, is um, Kai Havertz worth the hype? If you want to um, have a conversation about this guy, then um, leave it in the comment section below. Right, moving on into other news. Um, I think it's um, good news for Everton or is it good news for Liverpool? Either way, it's Everton v Liverpool to be staged at Goodison Park for the 21st of June. And it will go ahead on Sunday week. If I go back to the text, it tells me um, when it's going to happen. <coughs> I'm going to read a bit of the context there. So just bear with me a moment. Right, nearly there. I mean, after the dispute, after um, a conversation with the FA and the council, it's been agreed that the Merseyside Derby will be held at Goodison Park. And there it is. The Merseyside Derby has been cleared to be held at Everton's Goodison Park Stadium, while Liverpool can play home matches at Anfield when the Premier League starts, re when the Premier League season restarts. The match on June 21 could be the first chance for the Reds, who are 25 points clear at the top, to clinch the title. It was one of the games considered a risk because of fears fans could congregate outside the ground. Southampton St Mary's has been marked as a potential neutral venue. Either way, Everton versus Liverpool at Goodison Park at a non-venue ground. It's the way it should be. You know, I can't Im imagine a North London derby being played in a neutral venue. I can't, rem regardless of um, fans being there or not, I can't imagine the Glasgow derby being played behind new um, in a neutral venue or the Manchester derby. <sighs> uh, what other derbies there is in in history? The West London Derby, 
being played behind closed doors. You could have the East Anglia, uh, East East Anglia derby being played behind closed doors. Nah, doesn't seem right. And for me, Derby or Leicester being being played behind closed doors, that wouldn't be... I mean, being played um, in neutral venues. Neither is the North London Derby, the Manchester Derby, Merseyside Derby, or even a South London Derby between Palace, Charlton and Millwall. They wouldn't be played um, in neutral venues. I mean, I'd rather... Our local derby with Tottenham being played behind closed doors than um, neutral venue. And that's what's going to happen with Everton v Liverpool. It will be held at Goodison Park. And it's such a great shat. It's such a great sad shame that um, there'll be no fans to witness what could potentially be history. You know, come Wednesday... Let's say Arsenal beat Man City and Liverpool beat Everton at Goodison Park. It would have been a special moment for Liverpool to win the first league title in 30 years at Goodison Park. That would have been such a special moment. But however, (coughs) you know, Liverpool do have the opportunity to host a game, um, to make history all. But it's said that Man City are going to be favourites to beat Arsenal and comfortably as well. And um, as an Arsenal fan, that's something I won't look forward. I won't be looking forward to. However, the main thing is um, Goodison Park will host um, Liverpool's match against. Um, I mean Everton's match at home against um, Liverpool, and um, it's only across the road for Liverpool, so that will be good. But if Man City do get the victory over Arsenal, then. Liverpool would have to beat Everton at Goodison Park and to clinch a title, they would have to beat Crystal Palace at home, which will be at Anfield. But as for Everton, they're still chasing a potentially top six place like Arsenal. So, you know, Everton have got um, all to play for. So that would be a terrific game of football, I hope. Last season's Merseyside derby at Goodison Park was uh, a boring blank nil-nil. And um, there wasn't really that many chances in the game, apart from Liverpool's Mo Salah had a clear chance to um, shoot on his right, and he depended heavily on his left. Well, you know, he could still be coached. He could still coach himself, you know, to um, do better on his right. And you know what they say about practice, practice makes perfect, or practice makes perfect, should I say it that way? Anyway... That's Liverpool v Everton. I mean, that's Everton v Liverpool to be played on the 21st of June at Goodison Park. So Everton, or Liverpool fans, um, are you pleased that um, the fixtures are... The fixture is going to be set at Goodison Park. I mean, Liverpool fans, are you confident of winning the league at um, the Goodison Park, providing <laughs> if you're confident of um, Man City um, slipping up heavily against Arsenal? Well... Just leave your comments below. So moving on, speaking of Man City, they are holding firm on the valuation of um, Leroy Sane, who, in my estimation or guess, in my own guess, I think he would like to, um, to return back to Germany and play for the Bavarian club, being Bayern Munich. However, um, Bayern Munich have not met um, the valuation of um, Man City um, winger, the US Sane. I think um, they're looking close to 70 million. And from the reports I've read, they've only bidded 36 million. So, um, Karl Heinz Rummenigge is going to have to come up with um, a bigger bid. A bid that will match the valuation of what Man City are looking for. Or what the US Sane is worth for me. I mean, this is a top. This is a top class player, another quality player, and I don't understand how he is not in Pep Guardiola's plans. I mean, they've done as well as they have done, you know, without him, including the domestic treble, the first club to do in the domestic treble, and they've won it in style. 
I mean, Man City fans, do you see a future for Leo Sane? Do you think? Um, do you think um, he's? Um, yeah, do you think he's service service to requirements? Um, gone now. Um, and do you think it's harsh for Pep um, to or Manchester City to decide to sell him? Drop your comments in my comment section below, Man City fans, and um, let's have a conversation about the Sane. I mean, this is a guy who will get you 10 to 15 assists and around about, around about 12 to 15 goals, or more than 15 goals, up to 20 goals a season. You know, you could be selling a, a guy who's worth up to 20 goals a season, 10 to 15 assists. And this is a guy who's got great skill and pace and the ability to beat a man and to score a beautiful goal at any given time. I mean, this is another player, not just for Man City, but for the Premier League, that will go abroad. And I think he'll be a miss for the Premier League and a miss for Man City, personally. But if you want to have a conversation with me on that, then just drop it in the comment section below. And um, thanks for listening. And thanks for tuning in. I'm going to um, end it here as soon as I can. So, ladies to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls, I wish you peace, love and bless, yeah? As I'm going to cut again, yeah? And um, I will be back for this evening's um, edition. So, allow me to do what I need to do before then. Otherwise, I'm out. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. From your guy, your host, DLG Repping. I'm out. Latest.